Well, we are totally opposed to the concept of multiracialism because it um, assumes in the first instance that the people have got to be arranged in uh, um, uh, compartments uh, based on color. You have Europeans in one compartment, Asians and coloreds in two other compartments, and the Africans in another compartment. And immediately you talk of multiracialism. You are um, accepting as a starting point that the races are different, and this difference must be recognized. We are non-racialist in our approach. That is, we regard as an, an individual as an indivi individual, and that uh, everybody must be accorded his full political rights, whether he be white or black, educated or uneducated, rich or poor. And this is exactly why we are at the moment struggling to earn for our people one man, one vote. Partnership and multiracialism were first mentioned in 1953. Desegregation of Salisbury's first bar took place three months ago. It's not quite apartheid, but the races are separated by legislation. This is Harare African Township, and if you are an African, you live in a township, unless you're a houseboy and have your own private hut at the bottom of somebody's garden. The government says the basis of true partnership is education. So far, not a single school in southern Rhodesia in the entire federation has been integrated. And the government says officially that there's no prospect of it in the immediate future. African education remains a hodgepodge of mission schools and government schools with incredibly low standards. An African can teach in one of his own primary schools with a grade eight certificate. The number of Africans who pass their high school entrance exam is low. Yet in African high schools, there's desk space for only one out of every 16 children who reach high school level. But more and more schools are being built, teachers trained, housing improved, but all within the African townships. A multiracial society was one of the things forecast in the federal constitution eight years ago. So far, many government officials admit there is very little evidence of it. 